Hello 7pad users and welcome to this 7pad Getting Started 2.5 tutorial. This is part 3 and today I will show you briefly how to connect to your DAO to have the good sound of your plugins, synths or whatever. So, easily, the best way to do it is to plug it with the normal charging cable here. So I will just plug the other part to the PC and this part to the device. So that's it. And as you can see, it asks for different options. Mine is a nozzle here, which is the MIDI input function. You need the MIDI input function for this to work. It's Android 6 or more features. So M, Marshmallow. And as you can see, you have the use MIDI device, use device for MIDI input option here. So I will select this and then back to 7pad. I have now to tell 7pad he has to deal with the MIDI function, so I will choose the sound control panel here and the USB option here. And I will choose the same Android USB peripheral port, as you can see, for output and for input. It's important to have the same here. The OK. And now, 7 pan knows. He got the output and input from the MIDI device. Okay. So in the DAW, I want to tell the DAW to take the keyboard input, which is connected to the PC, and the keyboard must be going to the to the MIDI function of seven pad then 7pad will send back the through the MIDI function to the to the DAW okay and then to do that I need to in between it's a special specific thing it's a hardware instrument here but all you have to know is to take the input from your keyboard all channels and just direct it to the MIDI function which is a input with 7pad okay and you choose uh, keep channel, it's okay. And now you don't have sound, but you can see the MIDI input is working. So I will just now go to the code track, which I have uh, an instrument in it, and I will take the MIDI function and for MIDI function output, seven so path by default choose channel one. So I will put channel one here. And I will enable this for recording and same from the other to have two at a time. I can do whatever I want here. So as you can see by default when you plug it the split is engaged. So you have the height first case of the keyboard which are related to the core play and the other part related to the scale play here. I will be then get just split and now uh, okay, well, here. I can use the strip to change the, the tail. Okay, for course, now I want to play the scale, and it's the same hardware instrument will do the, the trick, but I will just here 
take another instrument and as input I choose the MIDI function and the channel which is channel 3 for the input of scales. So I will put channel 3. I check here the split is engaged now and I should have some. I will just enable sorry oh, what happens MIDI function channel 3 and then engaging is uh, on a MIDI track you tell what is the input here it's my keyboard out here and where is the output and the output is to MIDI function and here nearby him the second is a uh, channel one MIDI function input channel one to the sense which is massive in this case so I just can play the chord And it will go with uh, massive. Then, for the scale part, I'm here with the MIDI input, which is same K step cable. And nearby, I got the MIDI function channel 3, because channel 3 is the output of 7 pad for scales. By default, you can change that in the settings, but by default, it's 3. Now, if I want to play in sync with the DAO, I need to enable the link function. For this, you, you should have the, the mobile hotspot function to your Windows display PC. And uh, I encourage to connect the Wi-Fi directly to the PC with the MIDI function, with the, sorry, the Wi-Fi mobile hotspot. Okay, it's a connection sharing with the uh, Windows. When you do this, you just have to enable the link function, and this time you can see you have the peer one, which is here. I can show you better. So here it tells peer ones, which is a PC with the DAW, and it tells you that the link is enabled now. When I will start the 7 pad, it will start the DAW. I can stop the higher pair function here and apply chords. Okay, you got some MIDI panic mode here. You can long press on the pads here or on the looper configuration key here. It will do the trick for the panic or the all not off in MIDI. You have the panic here, do the same. And if you in the, the core view, you can just Disable and re enable the strip and it will stop the, the input. So, this function is the, the settings you got the easy play with mapping all the skills.
case to the, to the white case only. So whatever you play here on the keyboard will be mapped to the, to the, scale, the actual scale or arpeggio here. So that's it for connecting to the door and uh, thank you for watching.